Machine and politically incorrect, let me start with uh, what is usually my grievance when such time comes. So you see the IEC, ne? so the IEC, what they will do is uh, they will tally the votes behind. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a night vote counting. So they would normally close 2100 at night. They will vote and by midnight they already know the, the tally of the national, uh, unless there are a few disputes of which they are unlikely. And I mean, in 24 hours, the IEC should tell you that on 11 September 2024, these are the results. But the IEC, yo, the website, you. So sometimes we speak without verified results because we would get results from the ground. And because it's not centralized, it's very difficult to confirm results. But I just want to speak about the appalling performance of MK party, uh, especially here in Gauteng. MK party struggling on by elections. And I know you guys hate to hear this, but you guys are struggling on the ground. And, and but I want to tell you, it's, it's, it doesn't have to do much with what you are, you are doing in terms of preparation and, 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 it is just a difficult terrain for a new party to enter. The ANC is a polished material. The ANC is a polished organization. When people hear the ANC, they drop everything, they run to the ANC. The same people who criticize the ANC. So those who are new to the channel, I've made an example of the EFF. I said, and I still continue, the EFF is the best political party in South Africa. Not by a long a long stretch though is the best political party in South Africa uh, and I'm saying it based on various reasons and amongst them let me compare them with ANC amongst them is they are organized and what they say they do they usually do not they don't do it uh, often uh, and I'll give you case in points various case in points but what they usually say they do they do and they are organized the ANC, however, is the most organized, but they don't keep their promises and they, because they're the incumbent, they break many rules, they blah, blah, blah. So that's why I regard the EFF as the best political party in South Africa. And I would debate anyone who comes here and sit with me because uh, you're not going to use results as, 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 as a true measure of a best political party. The ANC is the most favored party for African people, but still it's, it, it's battling. So I want us to talk. I was on the ground in Morali City, Kariso 2, and that, that VD, uh, it's, it's two VDs in one word. Uh, so those who understand uh, ground politics would understand what does two VDs mean. So it's two places where people are voting, and both of them are schools, and they're not far away from each other. The ward is not, is not that big in terms of uh, the spacing, and, but there are a lot of people who live in there, but only two VDs. And in these two VDs, uh, the ANC performed astronomically better than uh, that what people thought. Uh, maybe even when I say people thought, it's, it's, it's an understatement. So we, the guys were on the ground. The EFF had a tournament uh, at the school, uh, at one of the VDs. They had a tournament. That they painted the word uh, red. They played soccer there. They had fun and games. Uh, it was a Sunday, beautiful afternoon. They campaigned and they were very good in their campaign because they touched people. Uh, the MK did a motorcade all over the world and, and, and I've shown you uh, the, those are the pictures that you would have seen it was vibrant, they painted the, the word green and it was wonderful they had lots of motor to motor you know, uh, contact uh, to, to voter contact on paper give them, they are not perfect of course they are a new party but on the ground give them uh, good marks for, for homework in doing that Come the election day, obliterated. By the way, the days I was in that ward, the presence of ANC wasn't there. So this shows you the experience. The presence of ANC wasn't there. We rolled around the yard. In fact, I drove with uh, uh, Commander Raisi, uh, who was uh, EFF, uh, uh, PA, and, 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 and. But 
took out the matter short, she and I we drove around Cariso uh, when we were going to do the podcast. The presence of ANC, non existent. But like a goat they are. They came at the last minute. They dished food parcels, food parcel, food parcel. By the way, that's the hometown of of Nomvula uh, Mukonyani. They call her Mama Action in Gauteng. So you, she knows the street, she knows the corners, she did her politics there. She knows who are the people. And the MK guys, when I asked them uh, what could have happened, they said, that's what I'm saying, I'm giving uh, uh, MK and A for, 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 for the groundwork they did. I mean, they stayed there. There are some comrades who went there, they did not leave that, uh, that ward. They stayed there, they worked there until the elections were done. They had uh, tables, you know, this when people come, they say they love uh, uh, your party. Uh, well, well, they call it Robert Tafula. So they, they all parties do that. So maybe Tile Tafula, MK, they had the numbers of the uh, potential voters, people who love. When the MK commanders were calling this, these guys, they said, would, we don't want to lie to you. We had voted. We had already voted for MK. No, no, for, for ANC. And if you ask yourself why, it's because of the food parcels. But not maybe only of the food parcels. Because when we say it's food parcels only, uh, we are saying the, the EFF, the, the, the MK, uh, Patriotic Alliance must not do introspection. They must just say, ah, it's food parcels. Because I don't even think, the food parcels, those guys won't eat. I repeat, I said the same because the pain uh, the, the, the comrades who work the ground are feeling now is the same pain. I, I always give examples of the EFF, best political party. They do everything right. Come election day, they are moored by elections. It's been 10 years, guys. EFF living with disappointments every elections, whether it's by elections, uh, local government elections, whether it's national elections. And people, you know, when you, when you topple someone, you think uh, that thing is easy, you can do it better. This is the realization of MK uh, people, because sometimes uh, you, we live in echo chambers, so the echo chambers would be uh, the algorithm that I belong to at, at uh, maybe uh, YouTube only gives me the noise that I'm I'm relevant to because I love this voice and it gives me uh, you know it infiltrates me with MK content that is positive that I think it's the whole world that is like that TikTok, YouTube, Twitter and everything uh, the people that you interact with every day you hear MK 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 because you are within MK you don't live outside MK you think that thing uh, doesn't exist there's a comrade by the way on Twitter no, no, on TikTok, who's debating people. I posted an MK, uh, an MK uh, video. And that guy's debating people and saying, that, that nonsense is not here in Pretoria. And people were saying, no, why? Why, why are you talking about that? This, this MK, and he was adamant. He was, uh, you know, TikTok people swear a lot. He was adamant. That says, no, that nonsense is not here. And nonsense, you're talking about MK. So... I asked the same question to Mpomorolan if you watch that podcast. I said, MK is battling in Tswani. MK is battling in Tswani. And by the way, MK did very well on the on the TT uh, uh, SRC polls. I asked Mpomorolan, you are joining MK. What capacity are you going to help? How are you going to assist them? Because these guys are battling in Tswani. They do well in, in KZN. There's a campaign that uh, Floyd Chibambu went to. He went to uh, to go and support, and he insisted that I told you he's going to emerge, and he emerged. And I look at that thing, it's in, it's in KwaZulu Natal. So I ask myself, is it, uh, it surely can be uh, tribalism only. And I don't want people to uh, to pretend. You see, on my on my podcast, we are politically incorrect. We are politically incorrect. So I'm not going to 
claim, and, and I've, I've proven a lot that there are people who are non-Zulu, non-Nguni, who participate and even support MK, uh, white Indians and stuff. They, they also support MK. But don't, don't, don't let it delude you. Uh, even EFF and, and ANC have those people outside their racial uh, bounds who support EFF and, M and ANC. So I'm saying it can't be only a tribalism. And people, when we say tribalism, they think we are saying it in a wrong way. No. I was just someone who said MK is formed on the uh, persona, the gravitas, and the the influence of Jacob Zuma, who's a Zulu person, and people align with Zuma because uh, they, they they understand what he speaks. And and there's nothing wrong with that. I I said even before the elections, I said MK people, if people are telling you that you're a tribal uh, party, say yes, you are, because that's your strength. There's no need for you to pretend that you are not. That's your strength. But the other matter that I want to discuss be beside the, the tribal is the regionalism. So unfortunately in South Africa, because we are not we are not a one nation state, so a one nation state will be Botswana, Lesotho, Swaziland, because uh, when the head of state addresses those people, he would say uh, Botswana or uh, Maswati or, or Basotho, because everyone in that nation, in the majority, they are that. So we are not that nation. So if something is regional and that region we will find pockets of uh, Botswana. You would assume because it's regional, it's also tribal. So it's, it's a confusion between the two. So MK is a regional uh, uh, tribal uh, uh, organization. And uh, I mean, even scientists can can can, can fathom and, and predict election results. And the reason they can't do that uh, to, to a specific point is because if I'm on camera and I tell people that I'm going to vote EFF, when I get to the ballot, I'm voting alone. And this is the reason why MK thinks their elections were, were stolen. And they still believe that, by the way, even now. A case in point is that VD has, that, 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 that word in, in Kariso, word 12, has two only two VDs. It's very easy to verify if the, the elections were stolen because you check these ones, you counted the results, you go to this one, you count the results, you match the results, and you, I mean it's very easy to by elections. By the way, are very easy to to verify. That's why I'm saying I'm disappointed with MK. Not uh, no 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 IEC for not releasing the results for us very quickly. Um um, this thing man of elections. Uh, if you are new to to, 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 to to grand politics, it's going to eat you, especially if you are emotionally invested. There are people, like I say, people went to Mogali City from various uh, regions in Gauteng, and they were moored there by an elective, uh, an elective uh, process uh, because ANC emerged there by big margins. And in Soweto as well, ANC was strong. Uh, when we were on the ground, we met Mpomorolani, who was leaving Kagiso to go to uh, Soweto, well, that's not far from there. But all I'm saying, guys, is it is what it is. The elections are not easy because people will tell you something and not do what what they they told you they will do. I I I sympathize with uh, EFF and MK because toppling the ANC demands a lot from you guys a lot resources mental strength ANC is I, I, I can't find an analogy uh, without sounding uh, wrong I can't find an analogy you know let me try to find this it's a relative that bullies other family members, uh, even abuses them, but because that relative has money, everyone smiles when that relative walks into the door. That's the relationship the ANC has with the, 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 the voting population of South Africa. MK, EFF, they keep pointing 
out the wrongs that ANC is doing. And we know all of these wrongs. South Africa, we know all of these wrongs. During elections, Ntanzalak uh, went and, and recruited people and was recruiting people, convincing them to join a ANC. And he said, ANC is on the ground and stuff. And I came with a podcast. I said, guys, I'm on the ground. Ntanzalak is, is honest. Ntanzalak is true. You go to every ward, there's ANC people, of course, and there's EFF. And uh, as a testament, the 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 MK is not as strong because it's it's a young political party. It might grab headlines uh, because I cover MK a lot in this podcast, and maybe let, let, let's even discuss that because you guys are accusing me of uh, of of being MK. MK does say, Mashiani, we've got this coming and support me. And at the beginning, of course, it was very difficult. They did not know what they were doing. Uh, I will be called when I get there. Say, no, but you must wait for our our uh, uh, communication guys who can authorize you to cover us. I'm like, guys, don't call me if you're not sure what you want to do with me. I go to uh, MK. I would go to them. EFF. I would go to them. And you know, I, I had someone saying, I am promoting uh, MK. Because the same videos I'm doing of MK, I can show you the same videos I did of ANC and EFF, and to an extent uh, a DA. You see, so you and other political parties, by the way, even those that are that would would struggle with political uh, uh, maturity because they're still very young. They just registered now for the elections. I can e EF. I've covered them on the ground. I've given them platforms on the studio. I've did two podcasts with them. I've given them ample time. I just did the Bolsheviks the, the other day, part one and part two. So we do give exposure to all political parties. And I did say uh, on my channel what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to, as much as possible, cover the, the things that the mainstream media will not cover for you guys. The mainstream media, they know who they've got. Uh, 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 on speed dial, they've got uh, this one, this this one. I we will not have that, that same. If I call Nkamulenjala to come in city, he will not sit here, but he will go to mainstream media. So it's incumbent for me to build this political uh, the ground, to build these political players. They must grow. By the time they get there, they know what they do. So it's important for them to support me, and I support them, because by the time they are national and provincial leaders, they already know what, what they are doing, because they would have had media experience with podcasts like ourselves. By the way, Julius Malema also advised them to do that when they get to their regions. It's a long podcast, because I, I, I want to stress out this point, and sometimes when I, when I make short ones, you, you might misconstrue what I say, but I still insist. There are various reasons why MK is battling on the ground. It's because people outside the influence of Jacob Zuma uh, may have been reached. So what do I mean by that is, remember what I said about uh, EFF, that they are the best political party, but unfortunately, anyone who needs to hear their message has already heard it. Anyone that needs to be convinced has already been convinced. Technically, meaning they have reached the ceiling. They may not grow that thing unless maybe they change the message and the messenger. So that is uh, the, the opportunity for Floyd to come in. I've said it many times in the podcast. A, uh, MK still to grow? Yes, I think MK will, will still grow. Uh, EFF? Uh, I I doubt. I doubt. I, I doubt it will grow, and it's not because I don't like them. And maybe our audience must make sure to the fact that uh, giving a fair analysis does not mean you hate someone. It does not mean you hate someone. It's just too difficult for MK to uh, uh, not to grow after their first elections because what what attracts people normally is. I'm repeating this uh, in, in other podcasts. Political players join a vehicle that's moving vehicle that promises that it will get there and they will eat. Those days of Oliver Tambo and Savelo Palmer, uh, Clarence McQuaid are over. 
no one, they will pretend to you, no one fights for ideology. No one. And I can prove to one, and even politicians who come in city, I'll challenge them that you guys are not about politics. You are career politicians. There's a difference between revolutionary activism and career politicians. Career politicians do what works for the party, so they contest power to eat, not to survive. But they, during during the struggle in apartheid, those people were surviving to were were, were fighting to uh, to survive, to let the political party survive. And but these these guys are now fighting for power to eat. Many examples, and the chief one that I always give you is the fact that number one, if indeed, if indeed, these three spear organizations that I love very much. And I told you that I'm not going to pretend I don't love them. I love these three political parties because they represent the things that I want. I want land. I want emancipation of African people. I want the change of the status quo in South Africa and in Africa in general. I want my kids to grow in an area where when they hear the word cleaner or gardener, they don't think that person, they don't assume that person is an African, is a, is a white person. They don't, they don't assume he's a black person. But in this current economy, in this current status, whoever whoever uh, is appointed as a cleaner, that person is most likely to be an African. So these three spear organizations, they promise us they will change that. But of course they are failing because they are not in control of this thing. They are not in control. They are hired. They are hired by the funders who give them money not to agree to each other. Someone said, I like uh, the fight between Floyd and the EFF, the MK and the EFF. No, I don't. And I, I told you when it, when it started that I'm afraid this is what is going to happen. And I was on the ground when it happened, when, we, when uh, MK got hostile uh, treatment from EFF. I did say it. I don't like it, but and I told you who's winning. The the funders who are funding both sides of the war. This unity between these three spear organizations is a blessing to them. These guys have sixty six percent. You know if they just create a chart, they say you want lent all these three guys will say yes. You want a state bank, all these three parties will say yes. You want uh, uh, people to own their yes but this is what they say and this is what they will tell you but they are handlers the people who are paying that those political parties you know and you know here's another disingenuous matter coming from from the ANC the ANC <laughs> you guys you guys make me laugh you you keep complaining that uh, the Stellenbosch funders uh, by the way, let me explain what Stellenbosch funders and Stellenbosch mafia, Stellenbosch. Uh, what when we say Stellenbosch, we are just talking about capital in South Africa. It's represented there, and don't come with your uh, dictionary definitions of what this is means in South African uh, politics. Colloquially, when we say Stellenbosch, we are talking about white capital that resides in Western Cape. So. I'm just defining it so we, we don't get uh, confusion. So when Stellenbosch gives ANC money, ANC doesn't complain. But when Stellenbosch gives money to this new mushrooming parties, you know, your, your, your HNSA, your Patriotic Alliance, your blah, 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 blah. I'm not saying they give them, by the way, I'm just giving you an example. When they give them, the ANC stands on top of the roof. They tell you, yeah, this, uh, these funders are trying to divide the but. If indeed they're trying to divide you, why don't you refuse money from the same funders because you hate them? Or you only want when the money is given to ANC? The EFF does that, by the way, also. They will receive money from capital. The same capital gives money to other people. The EFF will complain. MK, the same thing. There's this guy called Liebenbeck who gave... Uh, and, 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 and I didn't like it and I, I did the podcast uh, lamenting the fact that uh, we are allowing uh, this guy who's disrespective uh, to, to not only the Zulu monarchy but uh, uh, you know the, our elders as African people 
because he spoke about uh, the nakedness of the of the Zulu king and 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 stuff so it was it wasn't best taste i didn't like it by the way so but anyway that guy says he gives jacob zuma money and he's also running as an independent but he says he gives jacob zuma money so i'm just giving you an example that if indeed these parties are genuine they will refuse money from capital and raise money from themselves but can they? No, they can't. They will cease to exist if they don't take money from, from capital. Because the capital, all these parties are funded by the same, by the same people. Anyway, my channel political incorrect. I'm sorry, I did a long one. I just wanted to, uh, it's, not, it's not a rant. I just wanted to explain my feelings on the ground. Why I believe MK will still struggle in areas where Ngun is not spoken and uh, 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 regionalism uh, doesn't thrive. You may debate with me all you like, but the truth is there. And those who know the truth, they will acknowledge it. And this is why the EFF uh, is highly regarded in my podcast that they are, they are very strong. They are not a regional party. The EFF is not a regional party. And I can prove it to you in many ways. Jacob Zuma comes from Nkandla and, 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 and the, his area where he's powerful is in KwaZulu Natal. Julius Malema comes from Seshiro, Limpopo, mostly supported by people who speak Sipede. But he's not dominating. Limpopo is not dominating Northwest. He's not dominating Gauteng. He's not dominating uh, Free State. So this is where such speakers are. You understand? So he is not regional. He does not have a certain region in the country that this is where he's strong. He might be the strongest, of course, because of statistical data. Because once you do uh, uh, quantitative measures of any scientific study, you will, you will always. Have, have a point where numbers are bigger than the others. But regionally speaking, Julius Malema's influence and EFF is not regional. ANC, not regional. Well, the DA could be regional in the Western Cape because they've got what we call the colored vote. They will not be contested and won and, and dethroned in Western Cape because colored people associate themselves with the DA. Gaten tried and he's still failing. But anyway, there you are. Machine political incorrect. Tell me how you feel about it. Uh, and to MK and EFF guys, uh guys Robert Hoko is going to take more than what you guys think to topple the the ANC. Maybe swallow your pride guys. Merge. Merge against the ANC. Or even match with the ANC. But will you agree at ANC? <laughs> that's another matter because that's the reason you left. My political correct. I've been saying goodbye for a long time. Let me leave it at that. Thank you.